Good morning, ladies. It's Amber back with day 28 of our 100 days of praise and positivity. And we are going to be taking a look in Colossians today. So get some stamps out or some bright colors because we're going to get back to bright and cheery and fun colors today. I have just released a new stamp set. It's actually still in pre-sale right now. Um, and so I wanted to use that today and I think you will understand why in just a moment. In this new alpha stamp set I created, it has hearts all in it. And I felt like today would be the perfect day to feature that because we're talking about doing everything from our heart. So starting out, I am using Versamark. It's the embossing ink. It's a really sticky ink. And I am going to do each one a different color. And I'm kind of rotating between a bright pink, a teal color, and purple. And I'm just stamping out the word whatever. And I'm going to continue on in this. And I'm going to pull out some Moonlight Jelly Pins. We've used them on the black page um, maybe about a week ago, I would say. But I'm going to end up writing, whatever you do, do it from the heart. Because I really enjoyed what she was saying. Like, I understand. I had always heard it kind of like she did. That she always tried to find joy and take pride into her jobs. But this version of this Bible verse says, whatever you do, whether it's the dishes or whether it's cleaning or doing laundry, those are not things that I necessarily always like. So that's why I wanted to write whatever really big so that it made the point that it doesn't matter what you're doing, have a good attitude. Do it from your heart. And it really put that in perspective for me. So I'm pulling out the jelly roll pens now and I'm using kind of a turquoise color that matched. Um, I did kind of mess up so I tried to like white it out with my Signo white gel pen and it worked semi well. And then I'm going to stamp out heart and I'm going to emboss that with the pink because pink and hearts just flow well together. And then I'm going to come in and I'm going to add my top word that is our word of the day, which is heart. And I'm doing that with my jelly roll pins as well. And I'm going to do some little doodles and um, hearts all over the page. Really, it's just a super carefree, fun um, entry today. So I'm excited to see what kind of doodles that you come up with and you do. So... I'm going to go ahead and let you watch the rest of this, and then we're going to talk a moment. We are going to take a final look, and I'm going to start with the verse today. Our verse was in Colossians. It was Colossians 3, 23, and that says, Whatever you do, do it from the heart, as something done for the Lord and not for people. My praise for the day is this. Today, I praise God for my husband and children, my home and the memories we make. You have given me a very blessed a very blessed life. And the reason I chose this is I felt like as I was going through this devotion that it really brought into perspective for me that when I'm having a bad attitude about the fact that I've got too many dirty clothes, I should thank God because I have two beautiful children and a loving husband that are healthy and happy and 
um, get up every day and go to school or daycare or work and they put those clothes on and I should be happy that I get the opportunity to wash those clothes. Um, I really felt that this was um, speaking directly to me because, you know, some days I do have a little bit of a not so great attitude that the house is chaotic and that there's toys everywhere. But I think that for me, it put in perspective, what if those toys weren't there? Or what if I had a child that wasn't healthy and couldn't be dragging toys out everywhere? God has given me a very blessed life. And I think that no matter what your situation is, find the good in those things that are not so fun to do. Um, the other side of this that I really wanted to take a make like mention of is that in this, it is, I believe that, well, there is another version, version and it says, you know, to give glory or honor in everything that we do. And I think when we glorify God, that we, to glorify God and to honor God, that we need to have a good work, work ethic. We need to work with a good attitude. We need to honor Him in our thoughts and in our actions, whether we're at the grocery store or we're in traffic. It does not matter because... Every thought, word, and action that we take, we need to very much evaluate how that that is coming across because we're also told to not make any man stumble. And if someone knows that you're a Christian and you claim that you love God, people are going to be out looking for how you act. How do you do life? Do you do life with a good attitude and that you're happy and your walk with God is good? Or do they look at your life and say, they serve God, but they always have a frown on their face. Or they never seem to be enjoying anything. Man, that Christian walk doesn't really seem like much fun. And so I think it's very important that we um, take our thoughts captive that we find the good in even situations that maybe don't feel so great. And to be very thankful for what we have. And for me, I am thankful for my children. And I am thankful for my husband. And I am thankful for the messes we make. Because behind those messes are memories being made. So I appreciate this devotion today. I appreciate the perspective that she laid out in today's devotion. And I can't wait to see what you took from this today. Ladies, this has been day 28 in our 100-day journey. I hope that you're enjoying this. I thank y'all for continuing going on this path with me. You can find me on Instagram at Created Journey. You can find me on Facebook in the Bible Journaling Group, Bible Journaling in faith. If you're interested in grabbing one of these stamp sets, you can um, shoot me a message. I would love to hear from you. And ladies, I will see you tomorrow morning for day 29. All right, ladies. Love you. Bye.